Hey rockers, how's it going? Today is a good day, so I've got my smiley bandana on because it is England Freedom Day. We can, we can finally go out and ride our bikes without PC Plod pulling us over and we can meet up with five of our mates outside. This is hopefully the start of more restrictions being removed and getting back to some kind of normality. Which means you no longer have to put up with annoying videos of me sat on my kitchen floor doing route planning videos. Uh, which is why I've not been around for a while because I know they weren't popular, people weren't really watching them and to be fair they were a bit dull. My plan for this channel was to raise awareness of rock by going out and doing bike rides and meeting people or doing some interviews. But of course I couldn't do that with Covid so I thought I'll keep it going as best I can but um, clearly they weren't the best option. So. We're free now and it's all good. So I thought I would tell you some awesome content that I've got coming up. First of all, ride outs. I've got two with these boys, well boys and girls, brothers and sisters, um, the Yamaha Bolt Club. Now it isn't an MC, it's just a group where people who own a Yamaha XVS 950 uh, I think it's called a Yamaha Star Bolt in America, possibly. But anyone who owns one of these bikes can join the Facebook group, um, join us on, on ride outs and such. And it is an amazing group. It's run by the brilliant Paul Mack. Um, he's, uh, <laughs> he's always finding ways to keep us entertained and smiling through this pandemic with some quite controversial posts. Um, last night he decided to put one in there, which is what is the most overrated band of all time. There were some comments there that meant denying Maiden. It's a good job I like them because I can forgive them for that. Other ones, not so sure. Guns N' Roses were mentioned. Oh dear me. It's, yeah. But apart from that, they're a really awesome, <laughs> really awesome bunch of people. And every year we do a Peak District run. Um, Michael Shakespeare normally leads us through that. He knows that place like the back of his hand. And he's another real sort of decent fella as well. So we've got that coming up. I'm also heading to Norfolk with them. Um, not at the same time, that will be a very long ride. Um, I can't think what the dates are off the top of my head, but I can't really tell you anyway, because you might gate crash it. Uh, so that's two big rides coming up. Also with the Motorbike Ride and Meetup Club, which is open to all bikes and all riders, uh, again uh, on Facebook, and that's run by James. I can never say his surname. I'm gonna say Rebeshi. I think it's a fake Italian, but I'm not sure. You'll probably have a go at me for that. But at the minute, James isn't well, he's in hospital, so I'm sure everyone in your group, mate, is sending their love to you. Uh, I can't wait to get back on the road. Um, and I've known you quite a while now, but it's mostly been through lockdowns. We've not been able to get out and ride much together. So I'm really looking forward to the ride out that you've planned um, in the Lake District. My mind went blank then. Um, so yeah, big love to you, fella. Um, focus on your health, get yourself better, and then uh, we can go out and enjoy this ride. I think there's quite a few people on that one because it's after the 17th of May when further restrictions um, happen. And I think you can then, you know, you can meet up with like a million people if you want to. Um, quite a challenge and one hell of a bike ride if that was to happen, geez. Uh, so yeah, real exciting things ahead. Um, there'll probably be a couple of other little rides. I've also got the first ever rock ride happening. Now I, because it's the rule of six, I can't advertise it. I can't tell you where we're going. Um, but I've invited five Leicester riders from the rock group to join me on that. So, you know, that's 30 quid being raised for charity on that day. It's a one-day ride out. We're riding out for about five hours, taking in some of the best roads of Leicester. And that will be the inaugural rock ride. And it's such a shame I can't make that a bit bigger. Um, but 30 quid is 30 quid for the charity, right? So no complaints there. And it gets rock fired off uh, into the world of actually happening. So that will be nice. Aside from that... Um, the James uh, Ricardo um, video, Shiny Side Up, that got loads of views and it was seemingly quite well received. Chain de Greaser. Paraffin based bike wash. Um, so I'm going to do more videos like that, and I've got two lined up. One is with my family doctor, um, Dan Bennett of Bennett's Scooter and Motorbikes. Anytime my babies are sick or 
um, I want to give them some cosmetic surgery. I take them down to him and he just treats them with love and respect. Um, and disclaimer, my babies are my bikes. So, uh, <laughs> you know, that's all good. He's an amazing bloke and a brilliant, brilliant mechanic. So uh, I'm gonna film with him. I've also then, and I'm really excited for this one, on the 10th of April, I'm going down to Blythe Racetrack to meet Jimmy Buchanan, who is a motorbike racer. Um, I'm so excited for this because I'm sure, you know, you've got the same respect for these fellas as I have uh, to see how far they push these bikes beyond the edge. Um, it's just absolutely incredible to, to witness. So I'm going to go down and film an interview with him and film a little bit of him racing around the track. Um, because it'd be great to know what makes these guys tick, you know. I mean, obviously, if you're, you know, a professional racer like Valentino Rossi, you've got a ton of money, you've got sponsors behind you and a team behind you. But I'm guessing Jimmy has to fund or find the funds for this himself. So that's got to be one hell of a challenge to even get on the racetrack. So I'm looking forward to speaking to him, um, speaking to him about that. So some great content coming up. So please, please keep watching. If you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe. The plan with this channel remains the same. If I can get somewhere around 300 to 400 views on average um, and you know quite a few more subscribers, I might be able to get someone to sponsor the videos, which means more money for the charity. That was the plan originally with this whole thing. So it might not happen this year, it might happen for the next rock ride in 2021. Um, get ahead of myself there a little bit, but we need to build it as best we can. So you know, subscribe and like and share particularly the route videos because I need to reach people across the country you know and I'm I, I don't have that much power but what we can do is play pass a parcel you know if you see that the event is in Cornwall and you know someone in Cornwall with a motorbike hey can you help share this with your motorbike friends in Devon or Cornwall so that's it from me keep this one nice and simple nice and short uh, I hope you're all safe and well out there and I cannot wait to see you guys on the road that's it from me catch you later